Today we remember the soul of Mickey O. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you always. As we prepare to celebrate these sacred mysteries, we remember our need for God's mercy and forgiveness in our lives. Lord Jesus, you came to call sinners. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you nourish us in word and sacrament. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, we long for your return in glory at the end of time. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, by whom we are redeemed and receive adoption, look graciously upon your beloved sons and daughters, that those who believe in Christ may receive true freedom and an everlasting inheritance. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of Ecclesiastes. For everything there is a season and a time for every matter under heaven, a time to be born and a time to die, a time to plant and a time to pluck up what is planted, a time to kill and a time to heal, a time to break down and a time to build up, a time to weep and a time to laugh, a time to mourn and a time to dance, a time to throw away stones, and a time to gather stones together, a time to embrace, and a time to refrain from embracing, a time to seek, and a time to lose, a time to keep, and a time to throw away, a time to tear, and a time to sow, a time to keep silence, and a time to speak, a time to love, and a time to hate, a time for war, and a time for peace. What gain have the workers from their toil? I have seen the business that God has given to everyone to be, to be busy with. He has made everything suitable for its time. Moreover, he has put a sense of past and future into their minds, yet they cannot find out what God has done from the beginning to the end. The word of the Lord. Be to God. Blessed be the Lord, my rock. Blessed be the Lord, my rock. Blessed be the Lord, my rock, my steadfast love and my fortress, my stronghold and my deliverer, my shield in whom I take refuge. O oh Lord, what are human beings that you regard them, or mortals that you think of them? They are like a breath, their days are like a passing shadow. Be the Lord, I will sing a new song to you, O oh God, upon a ten string harp I will play to you. Happy are the people whose God is the Lord. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Once when Jesus was praying alone with only the disciples near him, he asked them, 
Who do the crowds say that I am? They answered, John the Baptist, but others, Elijah, and still others, that one of the ancient prophets has arisen. He said to them, But who do you say that I am? And Peter answered, The Messiah of God. Jesus sternly ordered and commanded them to not to tell anyone, saying, The Son of Man must undergo great suffering and be rejected by the elders, chief priests and scribes, and be killed, and on the third day be raised. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So this is this passage in Luke's Gospel has a parallel or a similar passage in Matthew's Gospel, but it has a bit of the twist, if you will, of Mark's Gospel. Which I mean. So this encounter where Jesus is in a remote place uh, with the disciples, with, uh, with the apostles uh, close to him. And he asks them this question, who do people say that I am? What, what, what do the crowd say? What's the scuttlebutt? Dare I say, Jesus is asking them, what's the gossip? What's the gossip about me? And so uh, the apostles, the disciples say, well, it's not this, some say that, blah, blah, blah. Peter says, you are the Messiah. And up to that point, it's very similar to what happens in Matthew's Gospel. The change now is that Jesus says, don't tell anybody. Don't reveal the secret. Let them go on speculating. Don't reveal the secret. Because I have to suffer and die and uh, undergo great suffering, be killed, but on the third day I'll be raised. And I imagine that for the apostles this was like very weird talk, very weird thinking, like to think that, that Jesus would have to suffer and die and then be raised. And, and I'm, I'm sure they just kept sort of shaking their head. I don't know what this means. Because on that side of the resurrection, they had no idea what the resurrection really meant. But they trusted in Jesus. And Peter got it right in saying that you are the Messiah of God, the messenger of God, the, the redeemer from God, the one who would set things right. In our first reading, we hear this long litany of a time for this, a time for that, all almost contradictory items, right? Peace, a time for war, a time for peace, a time for planting, a time for plucking up what is planted. And I, I, I always uh, dislike the idea that this uh, passage is often chosen by people for a funeral reading. It's one of the readings at a funeral. I wonder if they still have that uh, song from uh, Pete Sager in their heads. Uh, there's a reason, there's a season. I won't sing it for you. I won't sing. Uh, but that whole idea that 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 that, uh, it, it had, that song made it almost a familiar uh, idea for us. But I think for the most part we lose concept of uh, that really all time belongs to God. And really that's what Ecclesiastes is trying to say. That all time belongs to God and that in God all things will be reconciled. Here at the table all things are reconciled to God.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for it is through your goodness that we have this bread to offer, which earth has given, human hands have made, will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for it is through your goodness that we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, which will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours might be acceptable to God, the Father, the Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of God's name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O God, who give us the gift of true prayer and of peace, graciously grant that through this offering, we may do fitting homage to your divine majesty, and by partaking of the sacred mystery, we may be faithfully united in mind and heart through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. His death we celebrate in love. His resurrection we confess with living faith. And his coming in glory we await with unwavering hope. And so with all the angels and saints we praise you, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. All you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread. And giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection, 
and ascension into heaven. And as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world, be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Thomas, our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Jesus taught us to call God our Father, and so we have the courage to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ, where the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Share with one another a sign of Christ's peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold the risen Lord who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those called to the banquet of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. O God, who give us the gift of true prayer and of peace, graciously grant that through this offering we may do fitting homage to your divine majesty, and by partaking of the sacred mystery we may be faithfully united in mind and heart. Grant that your faithful, O Lord, whom you nourish and endow with life through the food of your word and heavenly sacrament, may so benefit from your beloved Son's great gifts that we may merit an eternal share in his life who lives and reigns forever and ever. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God.